In this video, we're going to have a quick look at um, the maintenance module and particularly the parts and timesheet features that we've added in as part of the client equipment group modules. So first, we'll have a look at our maintenance request. We're going to maintenance and we're going to create a new request for a repair. So I'm going to say repair hot um, water heater. The equipment, I'm going to pick out our water heater. And I might, well, I might worry about all these other standard features, but what's important here, our two extra uh, tabs we have here is parts that we consume and time sheets. So one of the things lacking in I do is the ability to consume parts for maintenance requests. Let me, let, but before I get into that, let me just talk a little bit about maintenance. So the maintenance module is in Odoo is designed to enable you to manage and maintain internal equipment. So this is equipment you own that you may use in let's say a manufacturing process, it may be welders, it might be um, cranes, it might be all sorts of things that you use in order to deliver your products to your clients. So these are things that, that you as a company own. Um, that you don't sell, you don't do anything with, except for you use them in your day-to-day -day business operations. This an equipment might be laptops, it might be um, equipment, as I mentioned, like welders, or it might be forklifts, it might be all sorts of things that you use to move, let's say forklifts, for example, you use to, to move products around your warehouses and yards and those sorts of things. So this is not equipment that you sell, but it's equipment you need in order to produce the, the goods and, and services that you sell. So a big difference between the equipment here that we talk about here and equipment and products we sell, which is a different category again, and then equipment we manage on the behalf of other people. So good to separate those, those three things out. Now for some reason, I'm not sure why, but, but I do, it does not have the ability to consume parts within the maintenance module, which is, is you know, it, you, you often do consume parts when you repair a piece of equipment, even if it's internal, or if it's, if it's one of your own forklifts or whatever the case may be. Um, and it, we also need to be able to track the timesheets as well for people that do um, actually carry out this maintenance type work. So what we've got here is we do have our timer we can start here too if you want, and I might just turn that on for the sake of it. We we'll, can we'll watch that tick away. Um, but what we will do here is we often want to consume parts so let me go and add a part in here and let's say I'm going to add in a um, let's sort of this a water here so I'm going to say it was a relief valve pressure relief valve we're going to consume one of those um, yep, so I'll save that and now I've got that part in here so now that part is just something we're going to consume but we have not reserved the part we haven't done anything with it but it is on the shelf I can see I've got one in here. If a serial number was related to this, I would, I'd, I'd have to pick out which serial number we actually don't consume. Um, but for most consumable items that you use for repairs, you don't, they don't really have serial numbers, but nevertheless that feature is there if you need it. I can see a cost associated here just, just for reference purposes. So I can then reserve that part. So now that is not that part is not available for sale or use other than within this, this order unless I unreserve it. So those parts are now being reserved. And so next thing I've got to do, go, do is pick the parts. So the first thing the person might have done when they started this order was to check out what parts they needed. I identified they needed relief valve and so then they re reserve, rever, reserved one of those parts. So next job is to go and pick the parts. So they go to wherever they've got to go in, inside their warehouse and go pick the parts and then they can mark that off as done. So now they're actually doing the repair, they're working their way, fixing the part up, and so they're, they're now ready to finish, they've done any testing, and it's all right to go, go, so they can now consume the parts. And so those parts are now no longer in the inventory, they've been consumed, they're now part of another bigger bought piece of equipment. And so those parts are now being consumed. And what I'm gonna do now is, is this work order is now pretty much complete, so I'm gonna stop my timer, I can see my timesheets in here um, and it's recorded, I'm logged in as administrator 
um, but I can see the time I spent on this is only two minutes worth of work in real life it might be something different though um, and, and so we're tracking the time and we're tracking the parts that have been consumed so that is is now I should actually whoops not scrapped this is repaired mark this is repaired and that pretty much has has that 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 work order done so the good thing about this is if we go into now into let's say uh, inventory which is I'm trying to find which is where I want to go to my parts and I want to go find my relief valve I can see I've got 19 on stock um, I can um, also see my ins and outs I can see that we consumed one during a for a maintenance request MAT which is a reference here so it's been consumed um, in that uh, in that manufacturer sorry maintenance order so the first thing it did was it, it created that that it took it from from the stock to a staging area where the maintenance was carried out and then once it was complete and consumed it went from the from the that staging area and into the consumed area so it is no longer in our inventory to be used and that's why it's decremented out and this was 20 and now it's gone down to 19 which I probably should show you before I started this but nevertheless and this happens to be an item that we do sell and, and we do buy it as, as well um, but in this case we've actually used it for one of our to repair one of our pieces of equipment the other thing we probably should have a look at is timesheets so I'll open up timesheets and this is all my timesheets but what I'll do is going to look at all timesheets and I can see that Dennis has spent some time uh, that two minutes is, is reflected here uh, sorry that was that that um, field service we did in a previous video the administrator did this work sorry um, and we spent two minutes uh, on, on that particular job that maintenance job and it is an in, a part of an internal project that yeah, that maintenance request is, is part of our it goes against our internal um, activity as opposed to our field services and so forth so as you can see there we're tracking everything we're tracking the consum consumption of parts our time use and and, and um, everything's now in order and tracked so I hope that all makes sense and I will see you in the next video